Hi friends, welcome to YouTube channel MacTech Know How. Today's topic of discussion is part program to drill the holes on plate. So here I have taken a plate and here I have written the dimension or the location of the hole. Okay. So here if you can see this is the first hole, second and the third hole which needs to be drilled and the diameter is 10 mm. All the dimensions are given in mm. The plate thickness is 5 mm. The first hole in x direction is like 20 mm and in y direction it is 30 mm. The second hole in x direction it is 20 plus 80 that is 100 mm in x direction and 30 mm in y direction. The third hole is 20 plus 80 that is 100 mm in x direction and 30 plus 40 that is 70 in y direction. So we need to write a program to drill the holes for the job which is shown in this figure. So based on the location of the hole we have to make a table. Okay. So here this is the table which I have prepared based on the position of the hole. And here I have written their coordinates like the first hole was 20 mm in x direction and 30 mm in y direction therefore the coordinates are 20 and 30 for the second hole 20 plus 80 that is 100 mm in x direction and 30 mm in y direction therefore the coordinates are 100 comma 30 and the position 33 means the third hole so in x direction it is 20 plus 80 that is 100 mm and 30 plus 40 that is 70 in y direction Therefore, the coordinates are 100, 70. So this is the tabulation which we need to prepare. Okay, and here this is the program which we are doing is in absolute mode. Okay, therefore, always the reference or the dimension is from a reference point. Here we have taken or assumed the lower left corner of the workpiece as our reference point. The lower left corner as a reference point and all the dimension or all the location are given from this reference point. Okay, This is called absolute mode. If it is incremental mode then whenever we drill a hole that becomes our reference point for the second hole and then the second hole becomes the reference point for the third hole. That is in the case of incremental mode. Now we will be doing in absolute mode so that's why this will be the x and y coordinate okay and after this program is completed we will also talk little about incremental mode okay so let us start with the program so here i am writing the program as well as the description so the first line is the program number this number is given so that you can retrieve the program whenever you require it okay so n110 this is the number which i have given for the first block okay any number can be given over here so here i have given 110 you can give n10 20 30 or you can give n10 15 20 here i have started with n110 okay this is the starting point where i have given the number for this particular block okay so then this is g90 means i have taken absolute mode then I have written G21 means all the inputs are in mm. Then G94 which says that feed is in mm per minute. Sometimes the feed is in mm per revolution. Okay, But in this case it is mm per minute. That's why it is written G94. If it is mm per revolution the code is different. So this is the first line. Normally the first few lines are common for all the programs also the last few lines are common for all the programs most of the programs okay but depending on which type of input or feed you are taking there may be slight changes so next then i have written n120 okay the next block and as you can see each block when it ends i have written eob means end of block then the second block it start with the number of the block then M03 means spindle start and M03 means clockwise. Then I have taken spindle speed as 1100. Here it depends on the material of the job or the cutter or the drill material or the coolant condition. Okay, So 
in some college or university they give you a chart okay where you can refer and based on the material which you are using for the job or the cutter or the a type of coolant condition then you can select the speed here i have taken as 1100 okay so spindle speed in rpm then m08 means coolant on okay so this is the normally the common line which is for the most of the program then n130 the next block is g00 g00 means rapid travel of tool okay so g00 then z5 z5 means when the cutter okay or the tool or the drill which will be there it will be 5 mm above the plate surface it cannot touch directly na the plate surface that's why it will be 5 mm above the plate surface so here i have written z5 here you can take z4 z3 but i have taken z5 and then end of block so here this is only about rapid tool okay travel and that is 5 mm above the plate surface then now the tool okay again i have written g00 means rapid tool travel okay and now i am positioning the drill at the position 1 okay that's why it is written x20 and y30 means i have used the position number 1 okay for positioning my drill at the position 1 so that's why g00 which says rapid travel of tool x20 and y30 sometimes this g00 in is not written in some of the program what i have done to generalize okay i have written it okay so x20 and y30 then once you position it now what you have to do now you have to do the drilling operation here i have written g01 means linear travel of the tool because once the drill is over here that is 5 mm above the surface and it is reached the position 1 now the drill has to go inside this plate and do the drilling operation means it has to move as a linear travel so that the drilling operation can take place and since the plate thickness is 5 mm the drill has to go 5 mm inside the plate okay that's why i have written z minus 5 okay and then i have written f90 that is feed that is mm per minute because we have already defined here that the feed will be in mm per minute because we have written g94 and the feed you can select from the chart as i mentioned in earlier uh, discussion that in some colleges or university they provide the chart okay for selecting the feed here i have taken 90 okay 90 mm per minute so then drilling the drilling takes place because now the drill is moving in this direction and it is doing the drilling operation okay and as you know that the tool is 5 mm above the surface okay when the drilling started and then it has moved and then it has completed this drilling operation where it has moved in the plate 5 mm so the total travel in the z direction is 10 mm okay then now what has happened now the drilling operation has taken place but now to do the second drilling the tool again has to come up okay so that's why again it is g00 and z5 means rapid travel of tool and now again the tool is 5 mm above the surface okay then now the next operation because now the second drilling operation has to take place so the tool has to come to the position number 2 now since for hole number 1 and hole number 2 this y coordinate is same so i have not written the y coordinate over here because y30 is still applicable okay so here i have only written x100 because only in x direction this has changed so earlier it was at 20 now the drill has to go at 100 okay but y direction 30 has remained same okay that's why it is not written over here so now rapid travel of tool the position 2 so now the drill has come to 
this particular position that is position number two now again the same thing will repeat because now the drill has to go inside the jog to do the drilling operation and then again it has to come 5 mm above the surface so g01 which says linear travel of tool and 5 mm inside that's why z minus 5 and f 90 that is the feed and the drilling operation is taking place and the total travel is 10 mm because earlier the drill was 5 mm above the surface and then now it has moved 5 mm inside the plate so total travel in z direction is 10 mm so now once this is done again the tool has to come 5 mm above the surface so again the next block that is n190 is d00 rapid travel of tool okay why rapid travel because when you are doing the drilling operation the travel has to be as per feed but once the drilling operation has taken place the travel will be rapid okay and then z5 because the drill has to come 5 mm above the plate surface okay then eob that is end of block then the next block now the drill has to go to the third position but the x value is same still for the hole number three okay which was there for hole number two only what has changed the y direction dimension has changed now it is at y 70 okay that's why i have only written y 70 because all the dimension or all the location are from this lower left corner okay which we have taken as the reference point okay so here only i have written y 70 so rapid travel of tool okay and the tool from position number two now it has gone to position number three then end of block after that it will again repeat the same because once the tool has come over here and it is like above like 5 mm above the plate surface now it has to do the drilling operation okay that's why g01 that is the linear travel of the tool and z minus 5 because the drill has to go 5 mm inside the plate and the feed is 90 which i have taken mm per minute and drilling operation takes place where the total to travel for the tool will be 10 mm because earlier it was 5 mm above the surface and then now it has done the drilling operation and the plate thickness was 5 mm so total travel is 10 mm so again it has to come above the plate surface 5 mm so again g 0 and z 5 and then end of block so all the three operation already taken place now what will happen now it will be g 28 because now the tool has to go to the machine reference position that's why g28 so rapid return to machine reference position so g28 then end of block and now once that is done now what will happen now this spindle has to stop because all the three drilling operation which was there has been completed now this spindle has to stop that's why m05 m05 is for spindle stop and once the spindle now has stopped now we will off the coolant so for coolant off it will be m09 then end of block and the last operation it will be m30 m30 means the program ends and the tape rewinds or you can say program ends then here we write eob that is end of block so the total program has been completed where we started by defining the program and now at the end we have like stopped the spindle stopped the coolant and then the program has come to an end here if you see the few starting lines are common and the end lines few end lines are like common and in between what you have done is only you have taken the drill from one position to another okay to do the drilling operation so this we have done in absolute mode in case if we have to do in incremental mode so what we have to do in that case our position will be as follows because as you can see here 20 30 okay the coordinates are 20 comma 30 but for the second position okay what is happening in the y direction as i mentioned there is no change so it will be 0 0 and your position number one will become your reference point so you have to move 80 mm so that's why 
here x coordinate is 80 and y coordinate is 0 for the position number 3 now what will happen there will be no change in the x direction because your position number 2 will become your reference point that's why x is 0 0 and y is 40 because your position number 2 will become your reference point and the distance of 3 from 2 is 40 mm so this will be your position number and the coordinates as follows if you are going for incremental mode and while you are using incremental mode instead of d90 you have to write d91 which says incremental mode so these will be the changes if you are going for the incremental mode there will be changes in the coordinates and there will be change in one code which is g91 instead of g90 so with this our program is completed where we have talked about absolute mode as well as we have discussed a little bit about incremental mode so hope you like this video thanks for watching please like comment share and subscribe and please press the bell icon so that you can get the latest update about our new videos we'll meet again in the next video very soon till then goodbye